impressed actually I look forward to customizing this wig for the first time hey guys welcome back to another video today I'm going to show you how I ended up bleaching the whole hair instead of this closure which was my intention so i started off with the soma professional bleaching powder i took two scoops of this bleaching powder yes and i felt okay that i could do this because i had watched a couple of videos this is actually my first time bleaching anything and i was like okay let me even just bleach the closure then i went ahead with 30 percent developer i don't even know if this was the right one i was supposed to use as a beginner i felt like maybe i could have gone for 20 so that it would not you know bleach fast and make me end up bleaching the whole hair but yeah so i mixed it up and just made it like look like a paste because that was the consistency i saw in most of the videos and then i went ahead to start bleaching this closure so i kept rubbing it in rubbing it in you know and just followed what i saw or i think i followed what i saw anyway but at the end of the day i realized that the bleach was touching the roots of the hair and i was not aware until like i think i removed my hand and then i saw like uh -uh, this bleach is already on my hand what's going on exactly so i realized that oh my god i have already started bleaching the roots of the hair everything has gone on. i tried to clean it to no avail so i just took my shampoo i washed it off first then i went in with the shampoo to actually just get it off as fast as i could because i was so scared that this thing was going to you know destroy the hair and it would now be a situation of what i saw versus what i ended up doing so i just quickly washed it off and also applied some conditioner you guys this is exactly what the whole thing was looking like i was like ah what will i do hmm so i went to watch another video on okay so let's see how to bleach the whole hair let me just bleach the whole hair because i can't be having some parts are gold some parts are the roots are gold rather and then the hair is now black so i saw the soaking method and i decided to do it so apparently i forgot that i was supposed to do it for like 30 minutes or 32 minutes thereabouts from the video i saw i was like ah, who has time to actually wait for this thing to get ready and then i just decided you know what i cannot wait for this thing to do and i brought out the hair and decided to you know just bleach it with another method that i saw so in that method she rubbed like the bleach on the hair all over the hair so i want to say that whenever you want to bleach hair please try to use a hair that is not um very expensive especially if you're using trying it for the first time because you might not get it right the first time and i'm so glad that i do not use a very very <laughs> expensive hair even though i would have cried but yeah use a hair that is you know not expensive and also please wear gloves because after i finished doing this thing with my bare hands my hands suffered honestly wear gloves that's the mistake i made and i don't want you to make it basically so i don't even know if i was doing this thing right maybe doing it on wet hair was right i i don't know but I just kept on doing it so as you can see the color started changing and i was like okay i think i'm getting you know a good color and i went ahead to put it in pack where i brought it out from initially i didn't have a foil but the right thing to do is to put it like in a foil and just allow it to sit for like five to ten minutes so this is what the hair is looking like i think i allowed it to sit for like 10 minutes thereabouts yes 10 minutes and i went to check it because i didn't want it to be so you know gold 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 i just wanted it to be like brownish that was the vibe i was going for so this is what it looks like so i went ahead to wash it with the shampoo and condition it dried it and this is what the hair is looking like right now so i asked for help to actually straighten the hair because i did not want to take chances this time around so someone helps me to straighten the hair and yeah finally finally it wasn't that bad 
honestly or so i think to hey guys so this is what the hair is looking like right now and mm, just look at it look at it so it was not bad <laughs> Because I was literally, I was like, hey, hope I did not go and destroy this hair. But I'm really happy that it came out really nice. After I've stretched it and, you know, styled it, I got the help of, you know, some people to help me do this because I don't want to take chances. But moving forward, I'm definitely going to probably get a mannequin and just get like some other cheap hairs so that I can be practicing on the hairs. In terms of styling so that it really looks good right so let me know what you think do you think like maybe it being black was better or at least the bleaching did not finally go wrong <laughs> as i thought because i'm loving this you know i'm loving my makeup i'm loving the look that it give it goes with this hair i just want to give a shout out to laura bell for coming through with this makeup you guys her contact will be in the description box below so if you want all your makeup needs she's available to travel worldwide so wherever you are <laughs> she's definitely going to come and you know just give you like an awesome face beat but let me know guys what you think about this hair and if you will be getting it i would love to know in the comment section so see ya